Hi guys, it's Chrissy with Chrissy's Divine Design Tarot and today we are doing a reading for Scorpio. Oh yeah. <laughs> All right, loyal and faithful, blessed with and so you may be meeting your soul tribe maybe some people that are very like-minded to what you are doing right now and if you're spiritual they are also spiritual divine karma somebody might be getting experiencing some karma here spend time with the opposite gender to balance out your energy and we have, they have stability. Hmm. Okay, Scorpio, what do you have going on here? Let's see. Passionate, wish granted, rare and dazzled. Wow, so somebody's really caught your eye here, Scorpio. They have stability. Happiness, romance, abundance. Wow. Jeez, that's beautiful. Can I get a couple more cards, please? Let's see what else for Scorpio. New beginning. So this is a new person coming in for you, not somebody from your past. This is somebody new. Let's see, what do we got going on here? Loving unconditionally expecting nothing in return and that is unconditional and spirit has a sign 11 11. <laughs> oh wow so that could be a sign saying hey this person is coming <laughs> your new beginning is here wow i see love here with the two of cups and the knight of pentacles so they're going to take their time to get to know you sure Sure and steady or um, <laughs> slow and steady wins the race. The world card in reverse. Okay, so there may be somebody stuck here or some type of lack of closure when it maybe it comes to uh, maybe they had love for you, maybe they don't anymore. The page of cups in reverse is kind of being emotionally vulnerable here so hmm four cups in reverse well this is somebody that's being regenerized and maybe a uh, positive change here so what's going on Ooh, something's coming to light or let's just say that uh, there's some type of truth revealed or some type of confession possibly coming in here that somebody might tell you, Scorpio, or that you see for yourself or you just walk away. You may not, yeah, there's no love, there's no love here. a change a positive change going on here somebody might have been stuck and something came about here something was revealed to somebody here somebody walked away for this new beginning to come forward let's see yeah somebody may have been lying about um, a child with someone else that's my third party child card Let's see. Yeah, somebody was talking shit about somebody. Is, I feel like they're jealous. It's the energy I'm feeling that envy, um, jealousy kind of feeling right now. Like they're they don't they don't they may know they may know about you. Could be this masculine that's talking shit or a feminine here because I don't have anyone other than the Knight of Pentacles here. And if they're a knight, they're not, I don't know if they're at your standing. Oh, I got a card that is, oh. Yeah, yeah I feel like you're working. You're minding your own business. You don't. You may not even know this is all going down. I don't feel like this is you. Yeah, the two of wands in reverse is you're not waiting. Two of Wands, is that, yeah, you're, you're being held back. 
Two ones in reverse is being held back. That, yeah, somebody's getting held back here from a new beginning. What's going on here, Spirit, for the Scorpio? Three of Cups in reverse, there was some adultery here. Somebody overindulged in something here with the Queen of Wands, an offer for a Queen of Wands. Somebody was committing adultery with this Queen of Wands. What's this Two of Cups then? Hmm, somebody's waiting for their ships to come in when it comes to love here. What's the world card in reverse? That's lack of closure. Something hasn't ended out. Some type of cycle needs to close out here. What's the world in reverse here? What's the world in reverse? Three of Pentacles. They may work with this person here. They may work with them. They may be on the same team or same um, department or same car, depending on what they do. Two of Wands in reverse. Okay. Held back some more here when it comes to this love offer that isn't going anywhere. It looks like no love here. They might be a very emotionally um, vulnerable. What's this page of cups in reverse here? Oh, okay. So. <laughs> Somebody wanted to hold back some love here or hold you back when it comes to love for something to, this Empress maybe ended something altogether when it came to this person. Ended something to be with an Empress. What's this Four of Cups here? This is a positive change for this Empress, I feel. Yeah, walking away. Yeah, ending a, a cycle here, I feel, and walking away from somebody here in that um, Four of Cups, that positive change. Leaving is the right thing to do. Yeah, freedom. Freedom right there. What's this Moon card in reverse? Yeah, you're coming out of some heartbreak here, of some truth revealed. You may have already known about this. Yeah. Yeah, you're walking away from this love here. What is this lover with no child? No lover, no child. It's in the reverse. Yeah, somebody was upset. Maybe it was a lie that this that this was going on, that, that somebody's child was theirs. And it looks like it's a lie or their grief over it. Feeling a loss. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, somebody's being pessimistic and bored, maybe just talking shit. Five of Cups and that could be grief and just cons focusing on the wrong thing here. Somebody's just being an ass, not um, a badass. <laughs> They're just being an ass. What is this Five of Swords here? What is this stabbing somebody in the back here? What is this? Oh, now there's an offer, a genuine offer with a real coin here. What's this work here? Working card, the craft, your craft. What's this eight of, eight of uh, pentacles here? You're concentrating on your craft, whatever you do for a living here. What is this? King of Wands. The King of Wands in reverse wants to give you an offer here. You may work with this person or they know your work. Maybe somebody has talked shit about you. They've seen your work and it's possible that they want to give you an offer. It's going to upset a King of Wands here. What's this King of Wands? In reverse is a broken promise. Somebody may be um, stepping out with that, seeking their pleasure, just 
going out just to be pleasured and um, kind of ruthless sometimes. So it looks like somebody's upset about this, this King of Wands. We got the Queen of Wands here with an offer and committing adultery. Waiting for their ships to come in. Maybe they're waiting for some money or something come in uh, from this person. And they f get found out about their adultery. Somebody maybe at work helps close the cycle. Somebody sees this person as someone here as an empress. And with the Page of Cups in reverse, I kind of feel like maybe they don't put themselves out there much emotionally and being vulnerable and so it's a big step for this person maybe they don't do that type of thing at all let's see something ended here with an empress there was no love there she walked away there's freedom and definitely going towards a positive change here or making a positive change coming out of this I feel like this has already happened she's already over this heartbreak and she's walking away from this love offer whoever was saying they had a child by somebody that's not the case this person is quite upset about this maybe they were paying child support or something here this Knight of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, that's somebody that's just being pessimistic, always the half empty uh, cup. Yeah, just being an ass. Why is this King of Wands in reverse? In a pen. Oh, because you're, you might be making some money here. Maybe you have your own business or something. Now you're coming out uh, of being, um, maybe you reject this person. You reject this person. Because a hermit can mean rejection as well. Even loneliness. Um, this Queen of Pentacles may feel lonely, but I don't feel like they're, they're working on their craft right now. But I don't feel like they accept this offer. <sighs> yeah, there's, there could be some rejection here when it comes to an offer. Maybe somebody wants you to work for them or work with you. Why is the Queen of Pentacles here? Oh, okay, Six of Cups is loving memories. So, and it's on the fence. So, <laughs> why is the Six of Cups on the fence? Whoa. Okay, so Ten of Swords. Yeah, there's a betrayal here. This might be somebody you know. This is kind of on the fence. There's a cup of love being offered, but I kind of feel like it will be in reverse. There is no real love here. And this is also on the fence. Lover's card. Wow. Okay, so maybe this Queen of Pentacles is, when it comes to the past, all she can see is betrayals when it comes to her past loves any love offers from the past I feel like she's not going to take anyone back from the past yeah too many secrets and deception she's going to use her um, her intuition I feel because the moon can also be using her intuition so yeah, somebody's not going to get that victory and love like they want. And it's this Queen of Wands is going to be happy about this. Or it's going to happen to this Queen of Wands here. Somebody is waiting for their ships to come in. I feel like they're trying to use this Queen of Pentacles for her money. Because she's in reverse now. And I feel like that's this Queen of Wands um, plan. Because the three of um ones can be waiting for your ships but i kind of feel like can also be um maybe it's the two of ones that i'm thinking of planning or maybe it's the three of ones i can't remember um but anyways uh 
whatever plan this is here, I feel like it's some type of time to think about what they want to do with this Queen of Pentacles, and that's to drain their money. So it might all be about getting back at a Queen of Cups here. This Queen of Wands wants to get back at this Empress, who's showing up as the Queen of Pentacles, getting some money here. Eight of Swords in reverse. Yeah, facing fear and karma ends. Yeah, somebody's pentacles are down the drain here. I feel if they take this offer. Yeah, they've already overcome all of this. Yeah, somebody's just looking for revenge and they're watching. They want to be a burden and they're lovers. Somebody's got a lover. There's an emperor here who doesn't want to give an offer. I feel like because he knows that this person here, you, Scorpio, could be a high priestess or a high priest. Scorpio, you could be this emperor. Take it however it resonates. Somebody doesn't want to change something anyways. They may even want to give up on something, but they will find the courage to do something here. Maybe ask somebody to marry them. But I don't feel like they really want to marry them. I think it's, it's yeah, something isn't fair here. But somebody's got boundaries and is coming out of this financial burden and this um, deception. Yeah, with the seven of swords in reverse, they got caught. There's a confession here. Maybe they were holding on to your coins here or giving them to someone else or holding on to someone. Yeah, they didn't want you to see this, but there's no love here. Maybe even for this other person, they're not healed. And I, I kind of feel like this might be a rejection. Page of Wands. Yeah, I kind of feel like somebody's maybe just a trauma bond or wanting has emotional trauma here this em this empress is sad about this i don't feel that she's codependent i feel like normally she's this way but whatever this news is that's coming in this page of wands i think it's upsetting it could have been a trick Somebody wants a new beginning here, but it may be for the wrong reasons. It's a passionate new beginning, but something's not fair here. Line of swords in reverse. So I kind of feel like um, somebody is just learning to cope with things. They're not actually doing the work. Could be this king of pentacles here who's going to come forward to confuse you. They don't want to cooperate or work with you. They just want to make you sad here. They don't want you to end anything with them here. Yeah, they don't they don't want to go home either. They may be going through judgment. Yeah, this is the truth. You feel this is way too risky because there was adultery here in the past. So I'm feeling like they just want to make sure that you're unavailable. Um, so your wheel doesn't turn in your favor. Even though you're this beautiful person, this Queen of Cups, they're just kind of vicious and mean and reckless and kind of aggressive, impulsive. You've already healed. And you could be a tarot reader. Looks like there's another person coming in that maybe is happy-go-lucky like you, maybe saw you somewhere, maybe they recognized you, maybe they wanted to come in and, and had a lot of desire for you, it could be this King of Wands, but he is in the um, reverse, so he may break some promises, he might step out, and he might come across as kind of ruthless. With this devil energy, um, he might be connected to a Capricorn, or Scorpio, um, this King of Wands, if you're this King of Wands, and uh, you have a lot of desire for a Capricorn. Hmm. 
somebody was juggled whether it was this king of wands being juggled by somebody that was in this knight of wands type of energy maybe thought they were wish fulfillment made them happy could be this king of cups it could be this king of cups that was in this knight energy or it could be this knight of wands that wanted just to come in and come out in that devilish energy to juggle you they don't want you to walk away and with the six of swords in reverse it can also mean that they are stuck in the past and they're resisting the change the six of pentacles here in reverse is kind of being strung along in this kind of relationship and i you know somebody is over all of this and somebody's going to come in and try to bring you right back to where you were just so you miss something here scorpio they don't want you to see the signs they don't want you to have this happy new beginning they're jealous of you scorpio whoever this is it could be another masculine if you are a masculine they're showing up in um as the queen of wands it could be a queen bee with another masculine and she's trying to pull the reins on how this is going to go down and what they're going to do but you're sitting here in the upright here so with your money and i feel like you're not going for this person i really don't uh, even if they are new to you you may see right through this this ten of swords somebody just wants to pin you to the floor make you stay there yeah this is an ending so an ending and yeah the end deception wow Scorpio why don't we get the love cards and see what's going on with this empress let's find out okay let's put this on the empress here yeah she might um being strategic not showing her hand taking a gamble here about ending something so let's see what this queen of wands is first here the beginning that's adultery somebody committed adultery on this queen of wands or this queen of wands um took someone else's offer which was adultery outdated thinking conditioning replaying uh events and over in your head so she could be worried about something maybe somebody has some outdated thinking or conditioning i kind of feel like almost like it's conditioning healthy choices in love and in life self-love self-care being happier in love and i feel like this might be you scorpio waiting for your ships to come in when it comes to love making healthy choice that you're choosing yourself now whether you're the queen of wands or the masculine okay I like you someone likes you somebody maybe that you see as a team player or a friend here somebody you may have worked with in the past there's a cycle still going here because there is some type of romance or flirting wanting to date but something's happened here what's what's this devil here addiction yeah somebody's codependent obsessive possessive controlling has a block or restraint so what's this three of swords self-indulgence focus on self self-worth okay so a lot of self-worth loving that maybe not taking someone else and just kind of um just going with whatever here what are these cards here okay they may have been from the bottom of the deck i feel all right yeah these were all on the fence <sighs> okay let's keep going so a lot of self-love someone likes you 
that maybe you didn't have an ending with. Yeah, somebody's walking away. Somebody's not showing their true feelings when it comes to this love. They may be pretending, gaslighting, deluding. So what is this Knight of Pentacles in reverse? Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. So you may be sad or they may be sad. But if you, Scorpio, are the masculine, you might be sad that somebody said they were pregnant and you may be we're paying for child support and the child wasn't actually yours. So there is faith that if you walk away from this person, you are going to have love coming in here. And this love, this love offer, and this person that might be new or from the past, because it's on the fence, um, doesn't quite tell me. So, okay, somebody wants to take you out for coffee. Reminisce, keepsakes, learn from the past, make memories. So I feel like you might just keep this person in a friend zone or, yeah, separation. Yeah, missing you, unsure of the future. <laughs> and then we have palm tree. I feel like stability, security, growth. And yeah, you have been flexible with yourself and you have your own security stability and growth that you have endured so I feel like you're gonna do the right thing with the separation because that is when this new beginning will happen for you this unconditional love this happy romance that is abundant and somebody may be already in this divine karma here and when it comes in like that, that could be you for um, something you may have done in the past, Scorpio, and that um, you maybe have been held back because of that karma, or it could be this empress that had to pay some dues here or have some growth happen in order to come together. But I feel like this past person or this person that's coming in through here, Scorpio, you walk away from somebody um, and this empress I feel walks away from people as well when it comes to love offers from the past so I feel like this person Scorpio that may be your person may be even a Capricorn could be a um, uh, high priestess as well I feel like this Capricorn could be very intuitive, mysterious, do things unexpected that surprise you, maybe. Hmm. Could be Pisces as well. Pisces could be the past person coming back for this Capricorn and Scorpio. You may be the new person coming in for this Capricorn if the Capricorn is the Empress. If you are the Empress and you are Scorpio, then a Capricorn is going to walk away from somebody here, from an Empress, or an Empress is gonna walk away from you. Because maybe you didn't tell them how you truly felt. But in any case, they may not, it might be too much that happened in the past for them to take this back, to be able to go back to this. They may even get karma if they come in. This empress may get karma if she goes back to this person from the past that's wearing the mask. And if it's for you, Scorpio, there's somebody wearing a mask in your vicinity here. They want to, uh, they may be friends of yours, Scorpio, that want to do dirty to an empress, and it ends up being that, Scorpio, this ends up being your empress, and they knew that, and they tried to keep you separated from this Capricorn. Take it however it resonates. <laughs> All right, but whatever you're in now, if Scorpio, if you were walking away from somebody um, that said they were pregnant, say, um, it's unrequited love, okay? All right, guys, take it however it resonates. 
and please like share and subscribe don't forget to do that for us for our uh, tribe okay for our divine uh, oracles so yeah guys I love it thank you for all the support all your donations like shares and subscribes I have done the bonus reading and the bonus reading was G Dragon so check that out if you're into the K-pop all right we have our own K-pop category now so you can go into that category just for K-pop I have celebrities that are um, classed as celebrities not uh, idols or any of that um, just like um, actors singers you know the ones that go to the the awards or whatever so any anyways um, <laughs> we're gonna leave it there okay guys stay blessed later